Is there a portal in the woods of England that is letting in werewolves? A recent report by the Daily Star has reignited interest in the mysterious and often eerie woods of Cannock Chase in Staffordshire, England. This forested area has long been a hotspot for paranormal activity, with numerous accounts of supernatural sightings. Author Lee Brickley, who has dedicated two decades to investigating this region, proposes that a portal to another universe might be enabling entities such as werewolves and other mythical beasts to traverse into our world. He cautions that this enigmatic gateway could soon unleash something truly terrifying. Canuck Chase is no stranger to the paranormal. Known globally for encounters with a variety of entities, including werewolves, ghosts, phantom hitchhikers, and the infamous black-eyed child, this forest has captured the imagination of both locals and paranormal enthusiasts. Brickley's latest book, Werewolves and Dogmen in the UK, Bone-Chilling Tales of Monsters and Beasts Lurking Among Us, sheds light on these eerie phenomena, suggesting that the portal could transform our reality into something reminiscent of the alternate dimension depicted in the popular Netflix series Stranger Things. The Black-Eyed Children, a particularly spine-chilling apparition, first began haunting Canuck Chase in the 1980s. Further, some believe there is an unsettling figure that is the spirit of a young girl who was murdered in the 1960s, while others speculate it could be a demon or an extraterrestrial being. According to Brickley, Canuck Chase is home to numerous ghosts, with the black-eyed children possibly coexisting with other terrifying creatures like werewolves and monsters. Canuck Chase, a sprawling area of countryside in Staffordshire, England, is steeped in history with several notable events and figures contributing to its reputation for paranormal activity. During both World War I and World War II, Canuck Chase was used as a significant military training ground. The remnants of these camps, including trenches, barracks, and other military installations, still exist in the area. The intense emotions and tragic events associated with these periods could contribute to the area's haunted reputation. With many local ghost stories involving soldiers who trained or were stationed there, some of whom may have died in service. The idea of portals, gateways that connect different realms or dimensions, has fascinated humanity for centuries. In folklore, portals often serve as thresholds between the physical world and mystical realms where time and space behave differently. These gateways are sometimes depicted as natural formations like caves, forests, or bodies of water, which serve as passageways for supernatural beings. In paranormal research, portals are theorized to be areas of intense energy that allow entities from other dimensions to enter our world. These theories often draw on quantum physics concepts, suggesting that multiple dimensions exist simultaneously and can sometimes intersect. Researchers like Brickley believe that Canuck Chase might be one such intersection, where the veil between worlds is thin enough to allow for these eerie encounters. According to European folklore, the werewolf is a mythical creature that embodies the fusion of human and wolf-like traits. Legends depict werewolves as individuals with the ability to shift between their human form and that of a powerful wolf. This transformation could be triggered either by choice or through a curse inflicted upon them. The connection between werewolves and the full moon was significant in these stories, as it was believed that under its light, these creatures would undergo their metamorphosis gaining incredible strength and an insatiable ferocity. These tales have captivated imaginations for centuries, sparking curiosity about the existence of such beings and their potential connection to mysterious portals hidden within English forests. In the context of Canuck Chase, sightings of werewolf-like creatures have added to the forest's mystique. Witnesses have described seeing large, wolf-like creatures with human features frequently with an overwhelming sense of dread. These reports, coupled with the concept of a portal, suggest that such creatures could be crossing over from another dimension where werewolves are a reality. Forests have always been a natural setting for supernatural tales. Their dense, shadowy environments create an atmosphere of mystery and fear, making them the perfect backdrop for stories of ghosts, monsters, and otherworldly beings. Canuck Chase, with its sprawling woods and historical significance, fits this mold perfectly. A poignant landmark in Canuck Chase is the Caton Memorial, erected in memory of the Polish officers murdered by the Soviet Union during World War II. This monument stands as a somber reminder of the atrocities committed during the war and the suffering endured by many. Such a memorial can be a focal point for residual energy and spirits connected to these historical events. Canuck Chase is also home to both German and Commonwealth War Cemeteries, which are the final resting places for many soldiers who lost their lives in the World Wars. The presence of these graves adds to the area's somber atmosphere and could be a source of paranormal activity, as spirits of the deceased may linger near their burial sites. Local folklore speaks of the Lady of the Chase, 
a ghostly figure believed to be the spirit of a woman who haunts the area. According to legend, she rides through the forest on a white horse, and her apparition is said to appear particularly on misty nights. Such enduring tales contribute to the eerie reputation of Canuck Chase. Canuck Chase also has evidence of human settlement dating back to Roman times and the medieval period. Ancient roads, burial mounds, and other archaeological finds suggest that the area has been significant for thousands of years. The long history and the various peoples who have lived and died there could contribute to its haunted reputation. These historical elements contribute to the mystique and eerie reputation of Canuck Chase, making it a focal point for paranormal researchers and enthusiasts alike. The forest's history adds another layer to its mystique. During World War I and II, Canuck Chase was used for military training, and remnants of this era can still be found scattered throughout the woods. This historical backdrop, combined with the forest's natural eeriness, makes Canuck Chase a fertile ground for paranormal activity. As Brickley continues his research, the world waits to see what he will find. His warning that something exceptionally big is coming has sparked both fear and curiosity. Whether Canuck Chase is indeed a portal to another dimension or simply a place where the human mind is prone to seeing what it wants to see, the forest remains a tantalizing enigma. The concept of portals, werewolves, and haunted woods taps into our deepest fears and fascination with the unknown. As long as places like Canuck Chase exist, humanity will continue to wonder about the mysteries they hold and the possibility of other worlds lurking just beyond the trees.